Oh, calves, don't do that. Peaches doesn't know where a calf is. Hey guys, welcome back to Cross Trains Box. I'm Dusty. This is my daughter Brooks. <laughs> She's with me right now. Um, so we've had this issue of this uh, east and west fence with my neighbor. It's an exterior fence. We've had this issue. Mike, my buddy, Mike Gunther from uh, Colorado Springs area, also raises bison. He was down here with us. While he was here, some of our bison uh, got out on my neighbor's property. Well, the good thing is, is we got him back twice. These bison basically are telling me it is time to completely move they're done with the 80 acres they've been in here over a month and a half we'll talk more about the reasoning why i think that they're doing this but they're right here right now so marissa and brooks and i just did a herd check marissa had to run uh so brooks and i reevaluated. we're back down here so what we did is mike's idea this is the fence they got out and this was kind of one of the last areas that they got out and mike i had this panel i was like let's just patch it up for now this whole thing needs to be redone well they found another way in so this is the third time here they are but when we patched this mike said well this is in a corner because there's no corner gates on this which stinks so i always put corner gates in i mention that every time i may be repetitive but it's so important to have corner gates Mike said, well, just leave the pan, just tie the panel here. Don't patch the fence up. And so because of Mike's idea on that, I just swung this panel open and we opened it up. They see me and now they're going to come in here. We've opened up our nine acres, one of my favorite little paddocks. This is just half of the herd. What? Is there one coming out? Yeah. Okay. Who is it? Uh, 1505. As soon as they make this curve here, they should go. As soon as they come out of my neighbor's pasture, it should go right here. She should step right there and go. Woo! Come on. Come on, Peaches. Let's pull up a little bit. That's just a that's a South Dakota heifer. So they're coming out. Oh, calves, don't do that. Oh, we're gonna have to bail out here, Brooks. They're getting weird on me. Getting weird on us. I'm gonna pull down here a little bit and then give them some space. Now they should come through since we gave them some room. portion I think of this herd this is supposed to be 31 total but half of them have been hanging out by themselves like I, I guess a third of them have been hanging out by themselves um, and two-thirds of the herd is the ones that had babies these are the ones that haven't had babies yet and they've been kind of we've had almost essentially two different herds but here are some red dogs mixed in. I think I see three red dogs in this group. Or two. That's a late born from because early 2024. Eleanor's calf died next year. She died, she died this year, babe. Yeah. There's another little pair. Her, her was so cute. She was and cute. And we have all the kitties. It's okay. Go ahead. Um, we have a bison there they go. And, we have a and so they're going to be happy. They're in a beautiful little nine acres. Lots of great, great native grass. One of my favorite 
patches. Now that um, they're in there, that is the third that we were missing from this morning that Brooks and Marissa and I did a herd check. We only saw, I think we counted 22 is what we counted this morning. So that to me looks like that should be the rest of them. We're gonna go in here, Brooks, and drive in the neighbor's property. We're gonna drive in here and make sure there's none left and that they've okay. all made it out okay. into there, which is where we're supposed to go. Okay, let's go in there. Oops. Oops. Still need to give Mike, he got the credit for deciding to put the panel in the corner where we had to cut the fence. We had to cut the fence to get him back in the second time. So that's our side, we're going on our neighbor's side. Gonna make a phone call to them and let them know about the issue that's been happening and uh, see if we can do some fence building together. Be together, it's typically not an issue. I wish I could get this property. It'd be nice to have this, it's wide open. Oh, there's cows. I think those are cows. Yeah, I see some black cows. Right there, see those cows over there? Well, they're supposed to be in here. Yeah, there's cows. Well, that's interesting. The bison have kept and stayed away. That typically happens. They won't get in with the cattle. They just kind of keep their distance and they don't fraternize with the cattle. So we're leaving our neighbors. We're gonna pull back into ours. I'm gonna tie this panel back up. We're gonna leave this here because just in case something happens, it's nice. I'm gonna tie this up real quick, put my phone down. Okay, so We've got, it looks like the other third of the herd that we had missing. We've got all of them over here now in the nine acres. Brooks and I are gonna go get the rest of the herd, go ahead and get their attention. We've got a sack of cubes here and we're gonna see if they'll follow us in here. They should be happy hunky dory to go in here. much. Come on! Woo! Here, buddy. Here comes some stragglers. Here comes Bill. Some of them are hanging out a little slow.
Let's go tight, hun. All right, so we just pulled up. We should all be coming through. Peaches doesn't know where a calf is, so she's going to look for it. I think most of the rest of them are all in here now. There's how many? Three? There's Peaches. She's back. Her calf must be in there. She just doesn't know where it is. Bobby's usually the last one around, so. Okay, let's uh yeah. let's go get the mineral feeder out of here. We've gotta get the mineral tub, whatever we call it. And then uh, this out and then we need to go count them all count the calves too I usually this is my mobile mineral lick we take it everywhere with us she doesn't know where a calf is Did you find your girl? Mm. All right, thank mm. you for the answer. Mm. Come on, let's go, Peaches. Come on, girl. Hey, come on. Let's get their attention real quick. 54 is coming over. I think that's 54. I don't know why we have. Babies must be with babies here. Okay, let's see if they'll follow us.
This should be the final catching of this entire Big Joe herd, what I call. Okay. We'll put this in another place. We'll put our Redmond in there. All right, high five. Muddy high five. <laughs> we got him, I think. Let's go count him real quick. Yeah. 31, that's what we should have. Oh, I love this little paddock. If we could have every pasture look like this, Marissa and I'd be super happy. This is a, you see a lot of the variation of plants here. This is a heck of a native patch of plants. If, while we do all the regenerative work and the non-spraying and the rotations with the bison, uh, the fence work, everything, you know, is this right here, caring for the birds, uh, the butterflies, all of it, a holistic approach. Native grasses right here is the, is the ground force behind it all because those guys love it there. And if this all works together in one big motion, it's a good circle. Life cycle, the life cycle. Here it is. Oh, they're swimming across here. Let's see if this one, you see them swimming? I love this. I love this pasture. This is what we're working towards right here. All right, Boots, we got to count them. You need to pee? Okay, potty break, y'all. Hold on. We got all of them, didn't we, Brooks? Can I get a thumbs up? Yeah. We got a thumbs up from the boss there. Yeah. You wanna get in the creek water for a little bit? Yeah. You sure can, okay. Looks like that's what we're gonna do. Back to being dad, we're gonna play in the water for a little bit. Since uh, Brooks was my ranch partner, tag along for today. Heart is locked up in the nine acres. They're gonna be here for maybe two days at the most. I've got some hot wire work I'm doing. Yeah, I know, hot wire work, right? At the Ponderosa, some hot wire. Yeah, we're trying something new. Could be real interesting for Marissa and I. It's a little nervous, a little anxious for this, but uh, it's a big project that we're working on. Anyways, they're gonna be in here for a couple of days. It's not a huge pack, it's nine acres. Anyways, thank you guys for buying Hold on, stay with, hold on just a second. Thank you, for, thank you guys for buying some with Brooks and I. We got her done. Got them all rotated. Now we're gonna bring them up to the front and get them all rotated up here. Start their periodic rotation. And then we'll go back to the burn unit. We'll go back to the burn unit after they're running through here. It sounds like somebody's peeing, I know. It's not, it's just a little running water. Nobody's peeing. After they are up here rotating around, we'll put them back in the burn unit at the end of July, kind of towards the end of growing season. We'll get one more grazing there. One more at the hay meadow. We haven't even moved into the hay meadow. It's where the calves were. And then um, we'll bring them back to the front and shoot. By then it'll be fall and winter time. Here we go again. Farmer ranching, right? Thank you guys for watching us. We'll keep on buying some ranching. Just gonna beat. Ridiculous.